Well, here's a little uh, Mendocino type of arrangement uh, that I'm uh, looking at again. I got these little uh, ring magnets uh, a while back and wanted to build up one of these Mendocinos using these little tiny ring magnets. Um, and so I got around to doing it, and I thought I would try to drive it with one of these uh, solar waiver driver circuits. And I'm just here in my kitchen. And it worked pretty good, so I thought I'd make a video of it. And uh, I'm still working with this um, non-stop runner idea. And this is the same kind of drive unit here that's been taken apart. And the driver circuit is there, the solar panel, and the coil. And then this is suspended magnetically, except for point contact, which is right there. And the uh, driving surface is a piece of this plastic here. And then on the uh, wood is crazy glue and pencil lead. And I just took the pencil and scrubbed that real good with a pencil and then put crazy glue on it and then smoothed it out and then rubbed it again with, with pencil lead. So the... Uh, the surface uh, bearing is this acetate, basically with a pencil running on it, wood, and a crazy glue. But anyway, I just thought I would um, share that with people. And I'm still working on these uh, long time running uh, motors using one of these um, dollar store solar waiver as the driver. Um, this battery is is barely draining down. I keep looking at voltage drops and it's dropped a couple hundredths of a volt in a, in a week or so. So I think I'd get a year out of this at least uh, as long as I don't have failures somewhere else. And I got some special lubricant uh, for the bearings and this is the uh, brass screw on the bottom with the steel needle and then a plastic uh, bead at the top or a glass bead. I think it's a glass bead. And they have this special lubricant for old um, clocks that are a real, a real syn good synthetic lubricants. And uh, this one here, like I say, I would probably go to a different bearing surface here, maybe steel on brass here. But this is just uh, the solar waiver um, with the little uh, driver circuit down there uh, in my kitchen. And the... Um, magnet arrangement is north facing out. You have to press them together. They want to repel one another. And then, uh, like I say, the um, point of the stick is like a pencil. So anyway, that's what I've got going on here. And it just sits up against that um, plastic. And then the um, circuit is an auto start circuit that starts this thing up automatically. And this would be a good uh, thing just to have running all the time. Um, I think I'd have to go to a different bearing here. Um, I'm thinking maybe a steel on brass or something. I'm not sure, but uh, a lot of people use a glass plate right there with a ballpoint pin uh, or something, but um, this worked with just the wood with the um, crazy glue and the pencil lead and then this um, acetate thing. This uh, works as a pretty good cover for this thing here to keep the dust off of it and it's dust is what I don't want to get down in the bearings here on this uh, thing here um, you know what I'm thinking about these long running motors is what's going to kill them is um, lack of interest and um, they just get uh, you get tired of looking at them you take them apart uh, save some of the parts and just throw them away and I think that's what's going to kill them. all my projects here is over the course of time I'm just going to get tired of looking at them or the wife will, and they get put someplace, and finally they get taken apart and just tossed. And I think that's one of the primary deaths of some of these uh, projects, is just lack of interest. But anyway, I thought I would share this with people. This is my um, little Mendocino kind of motor arrangement. And then um, I'm lit motor, and this is the 19th of April, 2019. And uh, like I say, that's the little driver circuit. The circuit's under a dot of, of a glue, so you don't know what it is. There's a capacitor, the little solar panel, the coil, and then these magnets that uh, make the support for the, the rotor. The rotor just sits on there, and then it auto-starts. 
and gets going on its own and I could add a battery to this if I wanted to and make one of these long time runners out of it uh, as long as I get perhaps a better bearing here that won't um, wear down and stop the motor. That's the latest. Thanks for watching.